Hi everyone, it's Intang Mayumi. I have Christmas tags for you today using this Stampendous Winter Treats Cling Stamp Set. Cardinals and hummingbirds are my favorite birds, so I'm going to use this one here and make him or color him as cardinal. I also used the birch tree from the Altino Birds Land Stamp Set. I mounted my images on a clear block and on my Fiskars stamp press and I use my watercolor scraps to stamp my images and I store my scraps on a red bucket as you can see there. I don't throw my scraps because I know I can still use them on small images and watercolor paper is not cheap. I use Versafine Onyx Black Ink and I will emboss them with clear embossing powder and I'm going to melt the powder with my heat tool. I will color my images with my Daniel Smith watercolor paints and I only use two colors from my palette and the colors are Pyrrol Red and Sodalite Genuine. I also stamp and emboss a few of the leaves with berries and I will color them with pyro red and sap green. After I color them, I will fussy cut them using my scissor. This stamp set has coordinating dies that you can buy but I didn't get it because these images are easy to fussy cut. After I fussy cut them all, I will run my Memento Tuxedo marker on all the sides of the images so you don't see the white edges and they will look seamless. I will use Tim Holtz tag die set for my tags. I think I used the second to the largest die and I also used the reinforcement die. This paper is also from Tim Holtz. I got this 8x8 Christmas paper pad from Michaels last year. I think there is new Tim Holtz Christmas paper this year and that's what I'm waiting to get in Michaels later. I will distress the edges of my tags with vintage photo distress ink. I also die cut tags from white cardstock that will go on the back of my tags and I will distress the edges of the white die cut tags as well.
After all the distressing is done, I will stamp my to and from on the white die cut with VersaFine Onyx Black ink and adhere them together with a little bit of liquid glue. I use liquid glue to adhere the first branch on the tag and foam tape on the back of the second branch to have dimension. I will cut the excess with my scissor and I will add foam tape on the back of the cardinal as well and adhere it on top of the the branches. I also adhere the leaves with berries on the back of the tags. I also die cut the reinforcement with red glitter paper and will also adhere it using glossy accents. I die cut Christmas words from recollection stamp and die set that I got from Michael's last year. I use red cardstock and die cut a couple and stock them together. I will adhere them on the tag and add the glossy accents on top of the words to make it look shiny. This ribbon is by Sugar Paper that I got on after Christmas clearance in Target a few years ago. I will use it on my tags along with some red twine. I also added glossy accents on the beak of my cardinals and on the words. This is Aileen's Glitter Snow. I got this one on Amazon. I will use it to add a little bit of snow on my branches. And lastly, I will add shimmer on my cardinals using Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen. And my Christmas tags are finished. As you can see, the cardinals are so shimmery and the Christmas words are shiny. And I also added shimmer on the leaves and berries. As always, thank you so much for always watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. I hope you like today's Christmas tags and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye. I have two more Christmas tags on the side of the screen that you might like to see.